guys, it's Patty. I am, oh, gonna leave and go run some errands. I'm in the little, uh, our little condo complex. Looks like they're, we're finally getting some trees cut that took a lot of damage from Hurricane Michael a little over five months ago. So I'm coming down the alley. That is our elevator shaft in the back. And right there is the back of our unit. Fences are around the property are pretty much all down. They've were destroyed and actually most of our landscaping although it's starting to look better because it's all green we lost so much so we have so many walkers right now that our gates we're keeping our gates open during the day this is where I turn out, and this is just a little small road with very little traffic, so I'm going to drive really, really slow. You can see all of this came from our property. We, uh, we are right at the deadline for having all of the debris done away with that the city and the county is gonna do. This was so solid you couldn't see through it, the woods right here. That's Hurricane Michael. And this little road, there's some more debris. The debris is still everywhere. A new townhouse going up there. This is another huge development in here. It was a, a, well, almost like a plantation back in there and the daughter or granddaughter who actually um, inherited all this, sold it off. It was just one big mansion back there right on the water. You, again, you could not see through the trees. It was so solid. All of the brick fencing is down. It's just bad. There is a car behind me, so I'm going to pull over here. Okay. Here's some more damage. I was hoping that as springtime came and the trees that bud out started budding out that it would look a lot better but and it does look a little bit better and I, again would you believe someone pulled out so I'm gonna pull in here took a lot of damage. That's a really big tree that's down behind their house. We had, I saw on the news the other day, so far in just one area down here, they've collected 53 billion cubic feet of debris. Think about that. Okay. Now, again, 
ahead. This is truly not a busy road. This is a golf course that was, most of the trees are gone and they're not sure if it will be reopened. See a lot of new fencing and this is was all destroyed with Hurricane Michael and these fences just went up right here this past week. You see a lot of blue tarps still, an awful lot of blue tarps. This up to the left of us is, is a fairly high-end neighborhood so obviously they probably are better insured than a lot of people or most. I have my camera, my phone, stabilized. I'm not holding it. to Chico's. I want to be there when they open at 10. That's in about 30 minutes. Uh, if you've shopped at Chico's and you get on their mailing list, from time to time they will send you a card and you can go in and they will give you a gift. Uh, just did it last month and it was a, a beautiful scarf. And I got another card yesterday, and starting today until supplies run out, they're giving uh, a charm necklace away. So I want to be there when they open. I buy a few things in, in Chico. If I were working still, or lived, or, or had a more active social life, let me put it that way, I would probably buy a lot more in Chico than I do. But I buy, you know, expensive items of clothing in there and they wind up just hanging in my closet. I, I don't, I, I just don't get enough wear. I mean, what I have on today is, uh, I have a pair of jeans on that I'm not sure what brand, but they were cheap. They're more, they're denim straight-legged jeans that have elastic in the waist, that wide waistband that holds your tummy in. And, I have a little linen -y type of top on that I've had a couple of years and I think I bought this at the Bell's Outlet. Bill's Bell's Outlet. Bell's. I'm not, I'm, I have, I've said this before, but I have asked the girls who work there, how do you say this? And they all, they'll say, well, some people call it this, and some people call it that. I'm going to Chico, and I will probably go in Bell's Outlet. That's a place that if you're gonna shop in there, you need to go really often. It's like most of those places where they get new things in every day, and, and it gets really picked over, and one day a week is Senior's Day, and Boy, that place you get walking there on that day but right now we still have a, a lot of snowbirds here and they're always shopping there Jim says that uh, quite a few have left already where he plays golf is where most of them play when they come here 
the golfers at least and that the traffic has really died down at the golf course so it's supposed to rain today it's it's supposed to be like 76 it's the, this morning when I first got up it was just clear Jim had already left for the golf course when Biscuit and I got out of bed he they tee off first they have a standing uh, tee off time on the days that they play and they, they tee off first in the morning so they get home 10:30 ish usually or they get through 10:30 ish but it was clear when I got up sun was shining really pretty and it has really clouded over since I've been up and about some of you are going to ask about these sunglasses they're dirty I think I got these at Charming Charlie's I'm not sure but I've, I've had them a while I have pulled into the it's an area called Pure Park. It's just a very large shopping center with roundabouts and it is about a quarter till 10. And oh goodness, there are already cars parked in front of Chico's. some other postcard holders, I'm sure. So I'm gonna make this next roundabout and turn around and go back and park. Oh, here's my card that I got. A charming gift and no purchase necessary charm necklace retail value $39 one per person available in US boutiques only excluding outlets Chico's off the rack stores Chico's off the rack.com and Chico's.com starting Friday today, March the 15th, 2019, while supplies last. And if you didn't see it, that's the necklace. Cute. I suspect it's real dainty. Another car just pulled in next to me. Okay, I did make a little tiny purchase. You know, I think it's really neat that they do this, but I always feel like I need to maybe purchase some little something. And what's funny is when they did the scarves, I, I don't have them on today, but it was a pair of earrings that were this brushed, I guess, brushed gold and silver together. And I have really worn those. They were not expensive. Not seeing the necklace, but here is the necklace. And this is really cute. And it has a a big lobster claw so you can adjust it. I really do like this. This is something that I will really wear. And let me show you what I got. And I had already, actually I had already picked out these bracelets to go with the earrings, uh, not knowing that they would match this too. And here they are. They're stretch. Two brushed silvers, or two brushed golds and a silver. And they were originally $35.50 and they were on sale for $24.99. So I'm 
try to get them all on. What a deal. If you have a, or live by a regular Chico, and you don't, you don't have to open a charge account. I don't have a charge account with them. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I have purchased in here before, and once they have your phone number in their system, that's all they need. And I get the postcards, and this is, you know, here's the sad part, is I, I've probably gotten postcards for other gifts, but I never really looked at them. And as a matter of fact, the one for the scarf, Jim got the mail that day, and he was handed, when he walked back in, he handed me a few things and said, you know, here's, oh look, here's something from Chico, I think is what he said. And I was not doing anything at the moment, and I just opened it up to see what kind of sales they had. And that's when I realized it was for a free scarf. And as I said, the scarf is beautiful. Okay, um, it has really been raining here while I was in Chico. Again, I just, I'm of this mindset as I'm aging, I, I just, I don't want to spend <clears throat> a lot of money on something that I'm not going to get a lot of wear out of. If you feel 